Hi my stamping friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent stamping up demonstrator and the tutorial I have for you today is an Easter one and I'm using again my beloved Hold On To Hope uh, stamp set with a frame that dies to make this project again because I really do love these um, this set, I really think it's fabulous. So that's what I've used to create my little basket. I've added a, a little, um, some extra card to the inside of the basket to give it added strength so that it, with when it's filled with the little eggs, it, uh, it will be nice and sturdy. And you could use this for your Easter table as a gift or just give it to someone at work or at school little teacher gift, something like that. And I think it's it's really fantastic, absolutely fantastic for Easter. So let me show you how I made it using the envelope punch board. So I've got the envelope punch board and all we need is a piece of DSP. And this is good sturdy DSP, as you can see from Stampin' Up. I can't remember what this piece is called now, um, but it'll, all the details will be on my blog. Now this piece of DSP measures 6 by 6 so you can make 4 from one sheet of 12 by 12. Uh, and 6 by 6 that's 15.2 by 15.2. And let me just get my measurements because I seem to have forgotten them. Bear with me. Sorry, I've got all my measurements I write in my book when I make my projects. It's here somewhere. Ah, oh, found it. Right. So, 6 by 6, 15.2 by 15.2. And on the envelope punch board, we're putting in at 1.5 inches, which is 3 Point eight in centimeters punch and score and then turn it over and put it in again at one and a half inches which is 3.8 punch and score then we're going to the opposite side in at one and a half inches punch and score Flip it over again, one and a half inches, 3.8, punch and score. Then we are lining our lines up on the opposite two sides now. So where you've got your score line here, coming down here, you need to punch and score. You're going to flip it back over. And you're going to line it up with this mark here, punch and score. Go to the opposite side again and we are lining it up when we can see it, just here. Punch and score, flipping it over, lining it up with this mark here, punch and score. And that is what you will be left with. So you've got two diagonal lines that side, two diagonal lines that side, and you've got your little lines here. Now we're finished with the punch board. I'm not going to, to round my edges because I really don't think that it's necessary for this particular project. But what we will do is we are going to get the stamping trimmer. Let's get rid of those pieces. We're going to cut up, it doesn't matter which which sides you cut up because they're both the same distance. So we're going to cut up those on each opposite side like that. Flip it and cut up each opposite side like that. Right then, so now what you've got is, you've got a flap that lifts up here, which will 
flap that way. So you've got a flap that flaps that way and a flap that flaps that way. Like that. So make sure that you fold that nice and square on. So we folded those and that's what we're left with. So let me just take that away for a minute so that you can see what you're left with. You've got two flaps that come up like that and then you've got your wings. So we haven't cut anything off of it. We've just cut we've just cut up our score lines to the second one because you've got a score line there. So you're cutting up to the second one there and the second one here. Okay? Right then, so now what we need to do, these flaps are going to come up here and then these ones here are going to move in like that to form our basket. But what happens here is that our score lines here won't meet up when we get this here. It won't meet up. Or will it? Can we make that meet up? No. So what we need to do, we need to draw a line from here to here. So putting this into your scoring tool, you've got your line here. You've got your line here, your score line, which you've done on the envelope punch board. You need to move it over by about one eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch making sure it's nice and square and then score so you've scored yourself another line can you see that so where that line is there we don't want that we want the one that's further inboard and we're going to do the same on this side moving it over by about one eighth of an inch it's not critical moving it over by one eighth of an inch oh moved it and scored so that's our scoring done so now we're going to put it together so now we're going to do our folding and burnishing like we would normally all of our score lines Remembering to fold on that second line instead of the first. Like that. Right, so now that forms our basket. And we, are, we need to just do these score lines as well. So it's pretty easy. You're not cutting anything off of this, so you're just cutting up. And it only uses a piece of 6x6, six six, so getting four from one makes it really economical to make. Right, so now we're going to do our gluing. So what we want to do is we want to put some glue along here. So I'm going to use wet glue today to do this. We want just a line down there and now what we're going to do I have got like a template that I've done and I'll show you how you do that in a moment get your template but we are going to bring our basket up we're going to bring those two up until they start to go flush with that score line that you've done. And following this template, which that does. So with your bone folder, we're just going to press that into position. And then you'll have a little flap that's not glued 
and you glue that down. So can you see now how I have now got the sides to my basket? Looks complicated but it really isn't and this flap will fold over like that to form our basket. And so now we're going to stick this flap down with some wet glue. Now we're doing the same thing on this side. So again, we want our wet glue along the sides here only. And then we're pulling it in, into the inside. And line up those two edges there so that they're completely straight. I should probably have said that before. Line them up and you can see you've got a straight line. Then you fold that over and that will mean that your line should go over better than it would normally. So push that down, glue that down with your bone folder and that's moved. glue that other little flap that's flapping about with some glue like that so that flap there needs to be glued down then that leaves you this flap here which you're going to put glue on and then you're going to glue that down and that forms that basket shape then these two little flaps that you're left with we need to glue them to the inside. Now, if you want to glue them to the outside to give your to give your basket some extra pizzazz, you can do. So you could put them out like that. Um, it doesn't matter which way you go. Maybe we will. I'm going to flap them in today. So a bit of glue on those and just press down with your bone folder. So it's up to, entirely up to you which way you want to flap them in. That's it. And so we've glued them down and now that's formed our basket shape. But you can see that you, if you're going to put eggs in there, maybe you want a bit more sturdiness to it. So I've done this little template and the way you do your template I will now show you so you get yourself a piece of thick card this is extra white with uh, extra thick thick whisper white card stock that I've used here to do my template and then that means that your template will last you for however many baskets you want to do so I have lined the bottom of this basket up with the edge of my cardstock. You then get a pencil and you draw round your basket shape. Like that. I'll turn it round so that you can see this side. So keeping that straight and then let me move that this way and then you're going to draw around this edge here and this edge and this edge and this edge and then you can draw a little straight line and that gives you your template which you will cut out. So you cut inside the line because obviously when you draw it with a pencil you will be go you, you will make be making it that fraction larger which we don't want so you cut your template out it's quick to do quick and simple to do that's your template and you write on here basket template basket template and put six by six inch DSP or 15.2 by 15.2 centimeters so that's your template and to check whether your template fits you put it inside 
Now you can see that there is room to shave off a little tiny bit more here and here. So that is what you do. You shave a tiny bit more off here and across the top here. And you do that until you've got your template fitting nicely and snugly inside, like that. Now that's your template for making others. Now, you, when you do your template, you might want to use matching cardstock inside. So, what have I done with mine? Here we are. So I have cut myself two templates, and when I've cut them out, I pop them inside and I just check that they're a good fit and they are. So that is those done and there's room for improvement on this one so I just shave a bit off, shave a little bit off, no problem. So that fits inside there. I'm going to glue it down onto the inside like that. I could probably shave a little bit off here too. Right, so now we've got our templates and they're going to fit in there. But I don't want to glue those inside because I want to to put my handles on and I don't want my handles to look ugly on the inside so I have here a piece of this is blushing bride because that matches my project this is a piece of blushing bride and it measures five and seven eighths by five eighths yeah five and seven eighths by five eighths of an inch which in metric is what is that in metric? Let me see. In metric that is 14.8 by 1.6. And then I'm decorating it because I do like a bit of decoration. You can see the decoration on that handle there looks beautiful. And the way I created my decoration, I've used my decorative ribbon punch. By the way, all these products are available to purchase in my online store. Should you be needing some crafting supplies, I'm always grateful for your business. So we put, put, put that in our punch. So this is just a piece of scrap paper and this measures the same as the other piece, maybe slightly wider. It's 1.7. So into our punch. Let's just make sure that that's in there. So into our punch, line it up with the edge here and punch. Move it along until you marry up your very first little um, uh, lacy edge. So you're seeing one. Keep this edge straight here very important punch move it along so that you're then seeing about four of these little edges and punch move it along always keeping it straight along this bottom edge here And then you've got your edge all cut off and all you do is trim it off at the end and that's your little lacy edge. Isn't that not great? So that's that. These are scraps. Stick them in the bin. It's a good little border punch that for cards and lots of things. Right then, so we've got our piece of um, lacy trim and now we need to stick that down onto our 
um, handle. So we are going to use a bit of wet glue and this is my silicon mat. And by the way, this silicon mat you can gain for free if you put an order on my website using my hostess code for the month of March, which is 2ESD7NVJ. If you put that on when you place an order in my online shop, I shall send you one of these silicon mats for free. So put a little bit of glue along here. You don't need much. Like that. And then put that about the middle of your little piece of card. Try and keep it straight as you can. And then we're cutting off that little excess piece we don't need. Like that. Goes in the bin. And now we're going to glue our handle on. So first of all we want to make our handle look like a handle. We want it to be curved. So using your bone folder, gently give it, give it a curl. Like that. And that's forming your little handle shape. Now we want a bit of wet glue on each end. Right then. So we're going to move these out of this basket, line it up with the centre, putting it down by about three quarters of an inch into into the basket so that it's um, going to be staying in there good and strong and centralize it in the middle of this part here can you see that part there you need to centralize it in the middle of there and hold that down same thing this side down by about three quarters of an inch and centralize that and that means then that that's good and stuck. So now we can fit in the inside to our basket. So we're going to put some wet glue on the edges of that. Push that right down into the corners. and stick that down onto the sides and across the top of the handle and that's sealed that in nicely and if you want get your bone folder and just rub that in make sure that that's in there and good and stuck there same with this one a bit of glue on it into the middle, press it down, put it into the bottom there so that it's good and stuck. Then fold it in, press it down so that it's nicely in there. Right. So that's our basket made. Now you need some shred. You can buy shred in lots of different stores. I've made this myself by just cutting some tissue paper up either side in the middle. And that makes my little nest, if it were, in my basket or my gorgeous... Um, and you can put as little or as much as you want. I've probably got a little too much in here, but never mind. In goes my little eggs. You can use any little eggs you want. Cadbury's mini eggs, anything will do. You can buy the little mini eggs and stick them in if you wish. Um, pull that round, make it look all pretty. And now we're going to decorate it. Lovely, lovely. 
Right, so I've already used, this is the stamp set Hold On To Hope. Absolutely adore this. So many, many um, projects I've created with this. If you'd like to see my many projects, look on YouTube or go to my blog, artypapercrafters.com. This is, bundle is available to purchase on my website. Um, you can see that I've used um, this to create my um, spray of flowers. That's done in berry burst ink and then I've cut it out with my frame my frame that die and that cuts that out. And so I, today I've made two of those. And then I've cut out the little flowers. These are my little flowers. I've used um, I've used this stamp to stamp those in berry burst also and I've cut them out with the matching framelit die there that cuts those out and then I've also cut out this cross this is a tiny wee cross which is this framelit here and I've used some silver glimmer silver foiled paper and what happens is it cuts out a little cross and it also cuts out the, the border of it so you get two for the price of one so you can use both or either or join them together whatever you wish so let's put those out of the way what have I done with that I've lost it where did it go oh no we don't say that where did it go Why does this happen to me? There it is. Oh, thank goodness for that. Right, so that's what I've used. And this is the stamp set. You can see you've got lots of sentiments. You can stamp that big one. You can cut that big one out. You've got a little butterfly. You've got a little um, corner stamp that you can stamp corners with. Oh, love it. Absolutely love this set. You can cut out a lacy one. You have a look on my... Um, website and you'll see how many projects I've created with this gorgeous set. So let's move on. I've cut out all my flowers, my sprays and my cross and we are going to just decorate this all up now. So let's bring in my silicon mat. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom edge only of this cut out so on the bottom of the spray only because it's going to come up over and across the top of my basket so I don't need any glue along the top because that's just free free fall and then I'm going to put one of the little crosses on there and I'm going to put that on using some of this liquid glue again love it love it to love it absolutely beautiful turn that round for a moment and we are going to decorate this side the same and um, oh, I haven't poked out little holes in this so let me just quickly do that that's it poked those out right some wet glue on there bottom of it only remember and up and on the top of our basket like that and then the other part of that cross and um, put some glue on that and stick that down on there Gorgeous. And then I'm going to use a dimensional because I'm going to put one of these flowers on the top as a decoration across there. And then these ones, am I putting them on there? I don't think that's necessary today. I 
think that I've done enough on those. Perhaps don't need those unless I put, decorate the ends, but no, I don't think so. I'm not going to use those because I've got two sprays today, whereas I didn't have. On this one, you see, I didn't have the spray coming across the top. I just had the two flowers there that I put on raised dimensionals. So, that is my project, my little Easter baskets. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I think they're rather cute and sweet. You can make them in any colours you like. Uh, the, this, these just happen to be pink and blue. Um, it's not for a boy or a girl, but you could use these as, as little christening things as well, couldn't you? What a beautiful idea that would be. Gorgeous. So that's all from me for today. Uh, don't forget, all the details of this project will be on my website, artypapercrafters.com. You can click on that little down arrow description bar there, which will show, t show you the see more, where you can click over to Arty Paper Crafters um, on my blog, and you will be able to see the project details. Also, you can shop online. Um, don't forget to support Arty Paper Crafters. It does help me to keep producing more videos and to keep bringing these uh, tutorials to you. And I would be really, really grateful for your support. So thank you very much and bye for now. Bye bye.